What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 5, and some information it gave us on this potential lead. But before we do start that, remember hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. And also don't forget to join my membership program as there's three tiers to that one. And as always, once you're done watching this video, go check out my last one. Give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start the show. So after the episode 5 of season 3 of The Mandalorian, it gave us a lot of clues as to what's going on with Moff Gideon. And we after we saw the Imperial shuttle, and we know now that he did escape and somebody helped him. But the million dollar question is, who? Well, we know that Officer Ela Kane, as we talked about in yesterday's video, you know, after what she did to Dr. Pershing, it implies that she could still be working undercover for Moff Gideon. Now, Captain Tiva tried and failed to warn the New Republic that the Imperial Remnant was growing into a serious threat, claiming that everything was connected, so his warning is unlikely to be a coincidence. Now, the Empire has used stolen Beskar in the past, meaning they could still have easily planted some to frame the Mandalorians. Why not, right? And if the Empire did take Moff Gideon, then their use of Beskar suggests that they could be based on Mandalore. The mines would be a perfect source of Beskar, and there's a whole network of tunnels and caverns created by Imperial bombings to hide in. Now, this would also be an effective way for the Empire to hide in plain sight, as until recently, all Mandalorians believed that the planet's atmosphere was poisoned with Bo-Katan and the Children of the Watch vowing to retake Mandalore as we saw in the last episode, this would raise the stakes by giving them an enemy to fight, which may make some cells hesitate after what the Empire did last time. Now, before the Mandalorians take the fight to the Empire, they'll have to deal with the New Republic and possibly another Mandalorian cell. Pirate King Gorian Shard also mentioned a pirate nation before his demise. And since Vayne managed to escape, he could return with other pirates to take revenge on the Mandalorians. Now, Captain Tiva even suggested that the pirates could be connected to the growing Imperial threat. So, this may be the start of an all-out war between every faction. Now, The Mandalorian Season 3 Episode 6 is sure to explore this possibility even further, starting with the New Republic responds to the evidence implicating the Mandalorians in Moff Gideon's escape. In my honest opinion though, I really believe it's Ela Ken behind all of this. I think that she is working as we know behind the scenes and I think after seeing what happened with Dr. Pershing, I think all the more it's evident she's trying to keep Moff Gideon alive and well and she would know more about where his whereabouts are more than anybody else. Especially knowing that we're going to be getting Thrawn in all of this eventually in the Ahsoka series. This is going to all lead up. Mando's going to lead right into the Ahsoka series and I wouldn't be surprised that's why Moff Gideon is very impactful in season three of the Mandalorian and Ela Khan's character is as well as again she knows exactly what's going on with Moff Gideon and that's why she had to save him because there's a bigger threat to the galaxy as we heard Captain Tiva even mention it in episode five of season three of The Mandalorian. But comment down below, let me know what you thought about this last episode and who's behind Moff Gideon's escape. Could it be Ela Kane's character? As we know that she's definitely a spy and she's still working for Moff Gideon. Could it be a Mandalorian cell or could it be the Empire that has placed those Beskar fragments in the Imperial Shuttle ship. Remember, for more Star Wars content, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know as I have another video tomorrow. Don't forget, I have a membership program as there's three tiers. Make sure you join one of them. And as always, remember, the Eternal Sith. Then, now, forever. Later, guys.